Welcome back to Sekiro with me and my wife, Anni. Oof, oof, oof. You were a cat before, now you're a dog. That's rough. I, I, I can't make a pun with that dog noise. <laughs> So in the last episode, we went to the Harada estate, back to it, and found a secret little place and fought an extremely hard enemy and got the Mist Raven Feathers, something like that? Yeah. Uh, yeah, the Mist Raven, or the Mist Raven's Feathers, I guess. Uh, got that at the three-story pagoda that we got information about. Now I want to do some more stuff that I've been kind of waiting on doing. I want to I wanna not do that. I want to go back to these two mini-bosses around this area where... This is round where we started the game. I'm going to try this one first. Um, I don't remember exactly if I was deflecting a lot when I first fought them, but I'm going to try to do a lot of deflecting because I've learned that that's very, very, very important. Um, I'm going to try to rip off their armor because the spear is supposed to be able to do that for certain types of enemies if you drag them towards you. I know I've tried to drag them a couple times, but... I, I'm going to try to do more and just see if it's even possible to remove their armor. Then I could try out the Mist Raven thing as well to try to dodge some attacks if I want and the Sapi Maru to maybe poison them. But first, I'm going to try to rip off their armor and just see how this goes. Ooh. Oh no! Oh fucking hell! Okay, not great. I expected this person. I did not expect the wolf. Yeah, the wolf is near. It's because it hurt me. Go wolf, wolf! Oh no! I'm sorry. I'll stop summoning dogs now. With my ducky dog followers that I have. Because I'm a dog. Wolf. Oh no, I summoned another wolf. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. <laughs> that, so that was the new tragedy. The strategy. It was a new tragedy. <laughs> yeah, it was. That, was. that was a throwback to Dark Souls. Let's try this again. Armor's not coming off so far. Yeah. You still haven't taken that item? Man. You really are gonna have to stay a mystery with it this. It's gonna be like a sugar, and you're gonna be like, well, that wasn't really worth it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think their... Uh, fuck. I don't think their armor can oh be taken off. Oh my god. Yeah, <laughs> I think that's a fair assessment of the sitch. Um, let's try Sabi Maru. I I'm not totally convinced that those attacks aren't gonna hurt me. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't stun them at all. Watch this. Whee! Whoa. Very highly effective. <laughs> well, okay, so their vitality is actually halfway. It's not bad. So if we could get some Mikiri counters going. Yeah, problem is I have no healing. Ah, 
I try to make Kiri counter, but. Oh, that actually built up a lot. Yeah. I need to heal, though. I gotta restore my posture. Oh. Fucking hell. Need my posture back. Fuck you! Oh, this is... Hmm. Let's not get excited. Let's not get excited. Let's not... Yes! Yes! yes. <laughs> oh, that was a good fight. Prayer beat, thank you. Oh, that was satisfying. I've gotten so much better at this game. Yeah. So what is this? Oh, Scrap Iron, it's actually good. Yeah, damn. Whew. I, I love my gamer wife. Have I ever been up here? Nope. I bet you there's treasure. Or at least an amazing view. Oh, uh, I think it's the second one Ooh. I've ever gotten. Yeah. Oh, right, restores the note of resurrective power. That's good to remember that I have. Yes. Very good. Let's see if I can get all the way on the top. <laughs> ah, I don't know. I'm scared. Okay, forget it. Doesn't look like you can. Anyway, let's look at the amazing view. Yeah, I was just about to comment on how like gorgeous this game is. I love how like vibrant red that like handrail is. <laughs> yeah. God, compare this, uh, like the the art direction for this game compared to the first Dark Souls. It's like <gasps> the. Can you imagine the joy on the artist's faces when like the I don't know, director or whatever, came into the building and was like, you can use colors this time. <laughs> and they were like, yes, they were crying tears of joy. Uh, unironically, the, the Monster Factory version of Dark Souls 1 where they have like pizza texture <laughs> instead of like cobblestone looks better. <laughs> <laughs> Next, let's try the fast one, the other mini boss back here. I'm going to try, well, of course, deflecting a lot. I mean, I, I think that kind of goes for pretty much every enemy now. Um, but I'm also going to try the Sabi Maru. I feel like they can probably be poisoned relatively easily because they're not some super armored person like the last one. So let's try it. I hope I can get this first hit by dropping on their head. I've had a lot of trouble with that before. Shout out to the wavy grass. Okay. Wow, that didn't poison him. Damn. They got some real high poison resistance then. Yes, finally! Stinky dude. Jesus. Yeah. It's it's very hard with them to get any time to yourself to yeah. like heal or anything. Which means I think I maybe just need to not. Um 
I mean, sometimes you just have to heal, but I think I should really, really, really focus on deflecting and just not backing up or, you know, running away from it at all. Yeah. Okay, let's try this again. Why is this so hard to land on him, by the way? Like, what do I, maybe I should just do it from a different angle. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to try the flame van, by the way. Yes, After they're burning. Some wife, wife help. <laughs> wife consult. Can't even see. Yeah, that's some real tight quarters. Jesus. Oh, that was a special. I really need to try to like carry counter that? It's not a weapon. Maybe I should just deflect it. Yeah. Oh, some rocks just fell down there. <laughs> Thankfully, they're completely oblivious. <laughs> Must have been rats. All right, let's try this again. Oh my god, I just noticed and realized that they wear the same kind of purple black stripe rope that the Real quick, dude, at the Hirata Estate, we're at war. Hmm. So they come from the same family of fucking your shit up. See ya. I tried to deflect it, it didn't quite work. Ah. Fuck, target him. Fuck you. Fuck you! Damn feathers! That reels of one heart fucking Shinobi told master. Yeah. No, did you motherfucker? <sighs> So close. Yeah, if they hadn't have gotten that regeneration off, I think I would have gotten them. Let's try again.
got him! Yes! Oh my god! <sighs> Game of life. <laughs> ah, tier two. Iron stuff and a prayer bead. Nice. Oh, wait. I just, I totally forgot about this wall here. So actually, that just unlocked a place. Yeah. The other two didn't unlock a place, I don't think, at all. Yeah, this well, now you can go back to where you originally came from. Oh, that was so satisfying, babe. Yeah, now I can finally get up here because I have the grappling yeah. hook. I, I think I cut this out, but in the very first episode when I went back here, I saw the like ropes and stuff and how it looked like there was sort of something up here. And I tried for like a couple minutes trying to jump up here and I think I cut it out because it was a waste of time. And I was like, babe, later. And you were right. Yeah. You know... Well, I'm no. right. I'm smart enough to marry a gamer wife. Hmm. We're going into an abandoned dungeon. I don't like this. Oh. Can I get back out? Yeah. This looks really cool. Also, not pleasant. Yeah. Not very... It's not what we in the art business call, like, pretty. Like, could, could use some home decoration. You're like, uh, can you make one of those, uh, classic Dark Soul levels? <laughs> can I get, uh, brown? <laughs> but of course, brown and, whoa, brown oh. and dreary places are fine in contrast with other things that aren't. Yes. Unlike Dark Souls 1 where everything is brown. <laughs> we keep riding on Dark Souls a lot. Yeah, but like... Just the art direction. I mean, the game's pretty damn good. What is that? Oh, God. Boss. Another mini boss. <laughs> lightning. Wait, haven't I gotten some, like, anti, like, lightning energy, whatever yeah, stuff? Yeah, you and have. Haven't found any lightning-based enemies. Shock, I yeah. Thunderbolt and lightning, very, very frightening me. Um, hmm. Bulging coin purse, that's a thousand, I think. Yeah. It can almost re bring something resembling a grin to Wolf's face. Yes. God, that is so cool looking. It's like the Lord of Bones. I think it... No, it isn't a skeleton, but... It might make skeletons rise. Yeah. Oh, cool. Oh, I think there's somebody to talk to over there. Oh? Just sitting on a rock. Bottomless hole. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Wait, isn't that the person that was up above? Uh, who said they heard a noise? Looks like them. だが、わしにはわかるぞ。まるで誰かを呼び泣いておるような。もしやこのわしを。なあ、教えてくれ。わしを呼んでおるのか。どうした調べが聞こえるでござろう。何も聞こえぬ。そうか。わしにだけ聞こえるのか。まあ、勤めなどもうよい。あの調べを追わねば、あの調べはわしを呼んでおる。I seem to be enthralled by it. Or at least obsessed with it. 
Yeah. Is it a very dark souls? I, is that the same conversation we had up above? Or is it a little bit different? I'm not sure. I don't know. Anyway, the dark souls, the character is very dark souls in and that it's like a lost soul, you know, just like doing their own adventure and you just come across them and you just kind of feel pity for them. Yeah. Where'd all the electricity stuff go? Uh... They're saving on energy. You know, they're eco-friendly. <laughs> um... Should I poke him in the back? Yeah. I don't know what would be good. We'll find out. Oh, God. I'm glad I'm doing this. This is apparently the right thing to do. Oh, wait. Ah. Oh, hey. God, those are creepy orbs. Yeah. Okay, surely you're gonna stop shooting those, right? Like, I can't. Oh, my God. They're like human faces. Yeah. Now they're just summoning more? Yeah. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. Is that terror? Yes. Oh shit. So this isn't electricity, this is terror. Yeah. Oh no, I'm getting terror. Oh. I just realized there's a reason not to use your sort of free resurrection. The one that comes back every time. That's the wrong way. Every time you uh, come back from the dead. Uh, because it'll make people sick. Like if you know there's no point in using it, then you might as well not use it because it could decrease your unseen aid and hurt people. Yeah, that's true. I felt like I could have maybe jumped on them from up there. Hmm. I'm trying to catch them on fire or something like that. Because I can't really stay near them. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, really? You landed exactly on them. Oh, hmm? just being near them is fucking up. I mean, I guess they are kind of spooky skulls, huh? Yeah. I mean, to be fair, if I was in that situation, I would be terrified. <laughs> okay, well, I think that enemy is a little bit too much to take and fit into this episode, so I think I'll end it here. I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when we return, uh, I might try to fight the thing some more, or I might just go further down into the bottomless hole. And I might be a cat, and I might be a dog. We'll see.